Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching. Georgia Beer Views back at you today with another one. And what I'm looking at is a beer from Spyglass Brewing Company out of Nashua, New Hampshire. This is the Solar Flare. It's a double IPA. Clocking in at 8.3% ABV. It was canned two weeks ago. Keep cold at all times. It's definitely been cold. It says this is a hazy double IPA. Hopped with Citra, Citra Incognito, Citra Spectre and Rawaka hops. So three different variants of Citra with this. Very interesting. Love the uh, the can art. You got the solar flare there. Pretty cool stuff. Orange and black just works. Um, okay. Never had this beer. This is a new one from them, at least to my knowledge. I go there and pick up cans all the time and they have a lot of the same IPAs like in the regular rotation. Then they have new ones. This one never heard of never seen it uh it's super fresh so like i said very excited to try it spyglass is up there uh definitely top three uh breweries all time in regards to the new england um ipa scene wow okay pouring it up now should have been a little bit more i should have shown you guys more of the pour there um like I said in a couple of my earlier reviews, the lighting in here at night is awful for camera purposes. For me, it's fine, but um, it doesn't really pick up very well on camera. But it is bright orange, and it is opaque. It can't, you can't see through it at all. It's very murky. Three-finger, white, relatively creamy-looking head. It looks like a classic... You know, New England juice bomb. Um, orange juice with a head. Very nice appearance. Wow. Tangerine citrus. There's an earthiness to this one right off the bat that I can't quite place. I think it's, this is so fresh, you know, sometimes you get that green hop aroma. If you're a big drinker of IPAs, particularly like the New England Juice Bomb IPAs from up here in New England, Spyglass, Treehouse, Trillium, uh, Modest Man. It's got, it's got a green aroma to it. Very herbal, herbaceous type note to, comp to complement the tangerine citrus. And then there's a touch of mango, some tropical fruit. Not so much pineapple. I think mostly mango. Maybe... Uh, I always get papaya and passion fruit mixed up, but there's there's something in there. One of those two. It smells absolutely delightful. Um, of course, none of the 8.3% alcohol is coming through on the nose. It smells like a winner. So without further ado, let's get into this brew. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. This is a winner. So that tangerine citrus, a little bit of... Um, We'll say papaya for the purposes of this video. No pineapple that I'm detecting, but definitely the tangerine citrus. Maybe even a little bit of the zest, like citric, like a zest from the peel. Um, nice and bready in the middle, some wheat bready malt. Uh, that greenness is definitely there. It's so, it, it, there's an herbal note to this, and I'm almost positive that it's just from the freshness of the hops. Um, and the way that this beer was brewed. It's just so enjoyable. It's not piney resinous. When I say green, I just mean that the hops are so fresh that it puts off an additional, almost like a burn, like a, like a bite that you don't get with hops as they mellow out over a few weeks. This is like super fresh and it really shows not only in the appearance in the head and, the, and head retention and glass lacing, but the, the aromas, the flavor profile, it's really just, it's all there. No alcohol presence on the body at all, on the finish. There's no warming effect, none of that. You could really just drink this down very quickly if you wanted to. Absolutely delightful New England juice bomb style double IPA. Medium body, medium carbonation. Mm. Wow. 
and the citra and the citra incognito well, three different types of citra hops i think that's what really brings it together to me um for me the rowaka hops are in there as well but i love a citra hop new england style ipa modest man most beautiful thing in this world still probably top three new england ipas of all time this one is up there let me tell you they the they really maximize the citra hops the fresh tasting qualities of this beer with the complexity and the layers of the different citrus um it hits you different at different points in the in the taste in the palate and uh the the greenness of it the little bit of a hot burn and earthiness and the malt character in the middle everything with this is just absolutely delightful i i'm having trouble putting it into words really it's that good this is one of the better ones folks i'm gonna go 98 out of 100 this is an outstanding world class 98 is a world class score for me 98 out of 100 if you like new england juice bombs if you like double ipas and you want one of the best new england ipas of your life Oh, that's up there with Treehouse. It's up there with Modest Man. It's up there with any of the Spyglass IPAs. The top. This is top three Spyglass IPA. This is one of the better ones I've had. Absolutely delightful. Um, 98 out of 100. Buy it, try it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. That'll do it for this beer review, guys. Gotta check this one out if you live in an area where Spyglass beer is available. If you're even close to the brewery in Nashua, make the trip for this beer. It's absolutely delightful. And they may have it on tap uh, if you're lucky. And you'd really be in for a treat then. So 98 out of 100 for the Solar Flare. Buy it, try it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. That'll do it for this beer review. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Till next time, everybody. Cheers.